Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What question do you have, brother? I think you had, well, you got a list. Yes, sir. All right. What scripture, what scripture it says about Israel's blessings to come? I've heard about all the curses. What are the, the, the blessings going to come? All right. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Because you say you heard about the curses. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Let's start at verse 1. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt not hearken, if thou shalt. Hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Remember, it's a, it's a condition. It's conditional. It ain't just like it's going to happen. You have to do something. So you got to keep the commandments of God. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So that's one of the blessings. He's going to put us above all other nations on earth. Ain't y'all tired of being on the bottom? Hey, ain't y'all, man, look, everything that's been going on since, well, since before Trump, but right now with Trump in office, it's been, hey, it's been some crazy stuff going on, right? They just treat us, hey, it done, it done brought out, like the scripture says, he is, uh, he made, he made Esau naked, right? Meaning the way they really feel, it's out right now, you know what I'm saying? It's out, they, everybody, you know, they don't, they don't have a problem telling they hate you and this and that, and how they treat you, right? But guess what? We keep God's law, such as commandments, he'll reverse that. And he'll have us on top of all nations. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 1. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Look at our communities right now. Is it a blessing? Our communities are blessing? Nah, it's horrible. It's trash on the ground. Our women walk around looking like they uh, about to sell their body. It stink out here. You see what I'm saying? That's a curse. It says our city is going to be blessed. Graffiti. Just think about it. Just look at this. It's a sign on the wall that says HIV is spreading. Like, you think that's going on in the white neighborhoods around here? They got signs like that? Nope. I ain't from Atlanta. But guess what? In Memphis, where I'm from, you go to a different uh, white communities. They got like the blue cameras in their communities. It's clean. They got like water fountains where if you're jogging in a neighborhood, you can stop and get some water. I even seen the other day a book uh, trading post where they got like a little thing set up. You can walk to it, look it up, get you a book, take it, read it, bring it back. They got like a library within their neighborhood when they walk around the neighborhood. That's something that I wouldn't have even thought of before. Dog parks, all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? They got a car wash with a dog a dog thing, you can wash your dog in it. You bring it in a little thing, they climb up a thing, you tie them to it, and you can wash your dog in the car wash. I never seen that before in a black community. You see what I'm saying? Those blessings were meant for us, but guess what we did? We didn't keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Verse 4. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and blessed and the fruit of thy ground. So the fruit of our body, our kids gonna be a blessing, plus our land gonna be a blessing. Right? It's not going to be that GMO, seedless, everything that's going on. You see what I'm saying? What's the name of that company? Monsanto. Like Monsanto, they want to have control of all the seeds. You see what I'm saying? To where they take the seeds and then they genetically modify it so they can't, um, they can't make other seeds. So you have to go to them every time instead of like you growing stuff and you can take the seeds of the seed itself. Now nah, they want to change it to where if what they do they have to come and spray your yard or your your uh, farmland all the time. And even right now, they got it to where if me and you live next door to each other and I'm getting my farm sprayed and you don't, 
if the seeds blow over to yours, they sue you. You see what I'm saying? That's They run this place. This is their kingdom right now. The blessings are that it gets reversed. Oh yeah, look, yeah, they, they, they drop the stuff into the air. You know, like you can read about this stuff. Like a lot of people say this like, oh, that's some conspiracy theory stuff. In St. Louis, they did that. It's real, it's written in their books. When the records come out after a certain amount of years, they put LSD and stuff. They drop stuff in the air to see how, the chest owners. That's what they do. It's a book called Medical Apartheid, right? They form modern gynecology by practicing on slaves without um, anesthesia. So that mean they just went in there and was like, okay, snip, ah! All right, that didn't work. Get another one. That's what they did to us. Read. Is that it on there? So you can read that, Deuteronomy 28, all the way to verse 14 to give us some of those blessings. Go ahead. How the nations that's been treating us, killing us, just like all these pictures. Yes, sir. What is God going to do to those folks? Give me Isaiah chapter 14. Bring it up. Oh. Start at verse 1. And do they know this? Some of them know it. Some know it, some don't know it. The scripture says that they're going to say that they inherited lies. So they're going to find out, just like how they're trying to... You, you see what happened with Nick Cannon? I heard about, about Nick Cannon. He said that the black people are the true, the true yeah, Jews, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's making everybody going crazy. Because they're like, what you mean black people are the real Jews? We're the real Jews. The, the truth is starting to come out into the world. That's why you don't see us on the news. You right. see what I'm saying? They're not... They're not sitting down and interviewing our leadership. You see what I'm saying? Right. They don't want to do that. They want to black out us. They we don't want them nowhere. We do not want to see them under the rug because that what's gonna happen when this truth come out. White people hear what we saying, right. and it's in the Bible. Right. They Christians. We read this stuff. They go, "Hey, that's what it say." But it, we've been had an image of a white Jesus forever. Right. But the Bible don't say that, right? Right? They just believe it. They gonna understand that they inherited lies. Some people know this stuff. Some people don't. Read that. Isaiah chapter fourteen and verse one. Yeah. Yeah. What's gonna happen to the other nations or what they did to us? Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So he's gonna have mercy on his people. And he's gonna choose us. Read. And set them in their own land. Right now we're in somebody else's land. We're gonna be set in our own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the other heathens, the other nations, they're going to be joined that land with us. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. And we're going to take those other nations. Read. And bring them to their place. We're going to put them in subjection, their right, right place, right. where they're supposed to be at from the beginning. In the book of Leviticus chapter 25, they were meant to be, they were born and bred to be our slaves. Right. Read. And the house of Israel right. shall possess them in the Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. They're going to be our property. Where? In the land of the Lord. In the kingdom of heaven, the other nations are going to be our property. That's right. what the Bible says. It's been in there. Read. For servants. For, what? for servants right. and handmaids. No. They're going to be our servants and handmaids. I'm reading this. It's reading out the Bible. We just nothing. I didn't write this book. It's in your Bibles. It don't matter what translation you go to. It's going to say that. Read. And they shall take them captives. And we're going to take the other nations captives. Read. Whose captives they were. Who are we captives to? We're captives to the white man. The Chinese man. The East Indian man. I'll, we can just keep going. Anybody who ain't on this sign right here. We were in captivity to them. That's right. And guess what? The role is going to reverse. What's the Eddie Murphy movie? Changing places? That's, That's what right. it's going to be like. Changing places. Read. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's going to be a great day right there. Right. To be able to rule over our oppressors. But it ain't just going to, it ain't going to come. Go to, go to Luke 17 verse 20. Bring it up. For us to rule over our oppressors. Right? That feel good. It always feel good. But guess what? Everything comes with a sacrifice and a price. It'd be a beautiful thing if we can have brothers in every neighborhood in Atlanta where our people work. All right. All right. Guess what we need to do that? You? You? Because it, it said it ain't going to come by observation. Bring Read. Neither shall they say low here or low there. Okay. 
For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Rulership of this world is within each and every one of us. Right. And you know what's funny? We kind of, we slowly can see that right now with the coronavirus, right? We can see how if people stop buying certain things, the white man is going to go crazy. His business is going to go out. His stock market going to break apart. Think of what happened if black people stopped eating pork. Just out. completely stopped. What would happen? You, I, some millionaires, uh, uh, you know them, they jump out of the building. You see what I'm saying? What if the black woman stopped putting weave in her hair? A multi-billion dollar industry. What would happen if a black woman stopped wearing pants? What would happen if the black man stopped committing crime, stopped robbing, stopped killing, stopped murdering? What would happen to the, the judges, to the prisons? What would they do with them? You see what I'm saying? That's why they want to keep us in sin. That's why they make these weird, stupid laws to have us in these prisons so they can put us in the stock market. They can make money on us over and over and over again. It's in you. You just got to change. Go ahead. You said they keep us in sin, so they, meaning this guy right here, they know the scripture, so they basically just guide us in to do wrong to breed us to do wrong. We're, I'm going to read it in the Bible. Okay, cool. Judah chapter 5 verse 20. Read. Yep. Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore my Lord and governor, if there be no error in these people. So this, this verse right here is going into um, let's see, start it up at uh, verse yeah, 15. Read. Judah chapter 5 and verse 15. So they dwelt in the land of the Amorites and they destroyed and they destroyed by their strength all the Espons and passing over Jordan, they possessed all the hill countries. And they cast forth before them the Chananites and the Paris, the Pharisees. Drop down to verse. Uh, drop it verse. Verse 19. Verse 19. But now are they returned to their God and are come up from the place where they were scattered. So what's happening is you got another nation. They, they, they're trying to take over lands right now. So he said, look, tell me about this people. So he's reading the history of these people. He's telling them about these people they read about. Verse 20. Verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. He's saying, look, if it's error, if they got sin in these people right here, right? And they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So they know, according to our history, every time the Israelites, when you read the Bible, Every time the Israelites stopped keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, they went into slavery. Every time. In the book of Judges, they went into slavery over and over and over and over and over again, right? It's funny how people say, only God can judge me, but there's a book called Judges, so when they didn't do what they were supposed to do, they went to captivity. Right. So they knew the history. They say, we know the history of these people. They know our history right now. We don't know our history. Right. They teach us history. You see what I'm saying? They got the books. Some books, when we find books about ourselves and we uh, read about them, right? The next thing you know, you look on Amazon, the book costs $42,000, $20,000. We can show you books that went from 20 bucks to $100,000, $50,000, like just like that. Because they don't want us to know our true history. They keep it hidden. But it's so much history of us, they can't, they can't stop it all. Read. And they sin against their God, let us consider this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So it's like, if we're about to go to war against them, let's make sure they're not keeping the commandments. Because if they're not keeping the commandments, that God ain't going to fight for them, read. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. But if these people keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, read. Let my Lord now pass by. Least their Lord defend them and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. So they know. They know. That's why pork in everything. Pork, you know, you eat like a jelly bean, it's pork in there. So a lot of hard candies, guess what? It's pork in there. You see what I'm saying? It's pork in the bread. It's pork. It's look, it's in everything. It got pork in some wines. You see what I'm saying? They they feed us these things. They push the stuff in our communities, right? In our communities, it's like they call these uh, food deserts, right? To where in certain communities you can't get good food. You know, you gotta eat the little, you know, the the, the the corner stores and stuff like that. You think about it, a lot of these corner stores in our communities are owned by Muslims, right? right? But they don't eat pork. They sell you pork though, right? Because they know 
They like, look, we can't eat this because it's it's not good. But hey, there you go, black man. So brother number one, they look, they do that to us because they want to keep us in sin. Well, some of them don't, like I said, some of them don't know, but some of them do. Right? What else you have? What do the scripture state? I heard something about two thirds of every race on the planet yeah. don't perish. Why? Let's get that. What's it? Zechariah 13 and 8. Read that. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire. So that's what it's talking about right now. Now it's not talking about the whole world. It's talking about us right now. You see what I'm saying? Because it's going to be others on this side of the world. It's going to be others that's going to come in. It's talking about the destruction that's going to happen here in Babylon. But uh, I wanted to talk to the sister because, you know, we're talking about keeping God's law, such as commandments. She got that cross in her ear, right? And guess what? That wasn't made for us. That's our idol. That's our idolatry. You see what I'm saying? A lot of our brothers get in there, they want to wear the big Jesus pieces and stuff like that, but that's against God's laws. What else you got? You got something? Okay. All right, go, go ahead. All right. What do the scripture says about masonry and, and like Easter stars? You know, masonry and Eastern stores. Uh, go stars. to... Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, Colossians 2 and 8. Go to Colossians 2 and 8. Read that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit. It says philosophy and vain deceit, right? These th these are the things like uh, Eastern stars and masonry and stuff like that. That's not that's not our heritage right there. That's not what we were taught. That's not the commandments of God. And what happened is we get spoiled through that thing, just like we talked about um, how they know us not keeping the commandments of God. Because I think to be a um, to be a Mason, they say you can, they don't care what religion you in, right? As long as you just believe in something, right? You you know about, okay, as long as you believe in something, you can do it. Not all, keep keep going. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of, what's that, Albert Pike? That was the founder of Masonry. So you got to think about it. A lot of that stuff goes into something that our slave masters created, right? Why would they want us ever to do right? And then even inside of masonry, they don't treat y'all the same. What is like the, um, it's a two different type, right? Prince Hall. Prince Hall. It, yeah, so it's a difference even in there. They still don't give y'all the same um, authority or respect as they do theirs. So that's just a philosophy of man. Matter of fact, go to, um, say it again. They believe they're the illuminated ones. Go to Isaiah chapter 29. Right, right there. Because I'm going to show you something about a lot of these uh, man-made religions or social clubs that they our people flock to. Read that. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me. Our people, when it comes to belief, we A1. When we get into something, we do it with all our might. Like, just like with homosexuality, it could be white gays all over the place. A lot of times you don't know it. You work with them, they this and that. But when we jump into it, like, it, why they got to change their voice? It don't make sense to me. But we go all the way in. Uh, masons, right? Mo you can have white masons. You probably won't even know they masons for the most part. They may have a ring on. But when our people become masons, hey, you got stickers on the car. You got the bumper plate. You got the little... Um, insignias all throughout there you got the big rings all over that's what we are that's we the side of the earth so when we do something we're gonna do it big you see what i'm saying read but have removed their hearts far from me we removed our minds far from god and we went and we looked for something else read and their fear towards me i understand it towards god read it's taught by the precept of men it's taught by the precept of men albert pike they teach us some kind of secret thing you get in there and they make you ride a donkey or something weird like that they, you know they put the what is it, the, the knife to the, the they cut your chest or something like that I, I don't know i just heard about this stuff but they make you feel like that's your godly thing even going into these sororities and fraternities right when you crossing over guess what you gotta make a pact it's a shrine set up 
You see what I'm saying? That's where that fear and understanding come through the philosophy of the man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.